Hi group, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. We have yet come to another Friday. Looking forward to a great weekend. A uh, bunch of stuff on here today, so I'll try to get through it as quick as I can. Google unveils latest version of Android phones, the operating system, which is now dubbed. It's a 2.2, which is uh, which is nicknamed Froyo, F-R-O-Y-O. Um, there's a video on there with Vic uh, Godontra from Android, um, who will show you. Um, a whole bunch of stuff about the new stuff. It now can do tethering, um, which uh, supposedly the Apple 4.0 is also supposed to be doing. Um, it will have over-the-air application installation and streaming through iTunes support. <laughs> Believe it or not, an Android phone is going to have iTunes support. Kind of weird. but um, And how that works is you find the app on your desktop, you push it to your phone, and you install it with one click, just like the Apple's App Store right now. Um, they... Uh, uh, Vic Adundra has said that Android-based phones are now up to about 100,000 activations per day. That's up to 60,000 from February. And Android is the first total web and first in total web and app usage. Um, that's mostly because it has so many choices to choose from. So that's one of the reasons why. And in a related story, they've also put a Froyo update for the current phones in 2010. And basically, what they're saying is, if you got a phone that has a 2.1 right now. Um, that was brought out in 2010. It's very likely you'll be upgraded to the uh, to the 2.2. Um, things like the Desire and the um, the Incredible stuff like that. Again, another video with Andy Rubin from uh, Android Central. So take a look at that. And then I have a third video. Um, a friend of mine, Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, who has a website called WordSushi.com. And also does a weekly email thing uh, called Things I Learned This Week. And you can see that at www.tiltw.com. And some really funny stuff. But he put um, a demonstration of recording audio onto an iPad using the camera connection kit. So for those of you who are looking how to do audio on an iPad, he has done it. There's a test audio on there that you can click on and see. Um, you need a native USB compliant audio source, which means that means that um, something that can't require drivers. Um, check out the video, click on the demo. It's it, it really will show you what you can do if you've been looking for that. Um, next story is Apple finally has allowed cash sales for the iPod. It's kind of scary that here in America there's things that you can't buy with cash. Um, there was a specific reason for it. They're trying to avoid dealers because Apple has a two. Uh, iPad per person policy um, so they're trying to avoid dealers buying up a bunch of them taking them overseas or selling them elsewhere so there is some validity to it but uh, Diana Campbell went into an Apple store she got turned away when she buy one with the cash went to her local news uh, news station KGO who then ran a story on it and right after the story ran Apple said okay we're gonna change our policy and in fact um, Apple hand delivered a brand new iPad to her for free. So this is kind of subtitled "How to Get an iPod for Free." No, just kidding. I don't think they'll do it again. But yeah, she got a free iPad, so not a bad way to go. And then lastly, QVC adds apps to shop via smartphone. Just in case you didn't have enough time sitting at home for QVC, now you can get uh, an app on your iPhone. Excuse me, on your Android or your BlackBerry, and there's an enhanced application for the iPhone. Um, you can actually watch the live. Uh, broadcast, the QVC Live broadcast on Android and the iPhone. So again, if you didn't have enough time shopping at home, now you can do it on the go. Under categories, Amazon updates the Kindle app for PC. Um, it's added a full screen reading mode, uh, change the background color, control the screen brightness, stuff like that. So check out that article. Twitter debuts official iPhone app. Um, iPhone or Apple bought a company that was running an app called Tweety uh, and now uh, the iPhone is it's now um, Twitter application for iPhone. Uh, it's really just a 3.0 upgrade version from the 2.0 Tweety, but they did make it a free app and before it was $2.99. So check that out. Every, check that out and everything else at www.phonescholar.com. I'm Bill Greenberg. I have a great, great weekend, and I will see you Monday.